let the blood of Jesus oh precious is the flow that makes me white as snow no other fountain I know nothing but the Nothing but the blood of Jesus for my cleansing. This my plea. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing can for sin atone. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Not of good that I have done. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fountain I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. This is all my righteousness. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that made Nothing but the blood of thank the Lord for saving me and for all he's done for me and on the 15th of this month will make 14 years since the Lord saved me and I just thank him for it and for being my friend God failed him many times but he's never failed me I just want to take a little time right now and thank the Lord for all he's done for me I just want to take a little time right now and thank the Lord for all he's done for me. There were ten men in the Bible days who had been sick for so very long. But one day Jesus passed their way. Then he spoke, their disease was healed that day. They all went on their very merry way. 
But then one man returned and said, I've got something that I'd like to say. And he said, I just want to take a little time right now and thank the Lord for all he's done for me.
You were my friend When no one cared I was alone But you were there Lord, you're the best thing That's ever happened to me Here's what we need to do And I owe it all to you, Lord All I have is yours, Lord Take my life Make it what you'd have it be I'm your child and you're my father I'm the clay and you're the potter, Lord, you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. Borrowed treasures, borrowed dreams, all life joys you've given me. When trouble comes, you're always there to make me smile. So come what may, thy will be done. I love you, Jesus, God's only Son. Lord, you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I owe it all to you, Lord, all I have is yours, Lord. Take my life, make it what you'd have it be. I'm your child and you're my father. I'm the clay and you're the potter. Lord, you're the best thing that's ever happened. Amen. If we're the clay and he's the potter, we're in the right hands. And he's never made a mistake, never made a wrong vessel, never puts the wrong calling in your life. I heard what Tammy said, and I'm not rebuking you by no means. Please don't take it that way. She said, I want to be able to do what he's given me to do. You can't. Because He's never give you anything that you can't do. But when you do it, it'll be to the point to where you have to depend on Him to get it done. And when it's done, you'll have to say, thank you, Jesus. It's not about, let me sign your, an autograph on my, on my picture because I sing so pretty. Because if you sing for the right reason, it ain't got nothing to do about my picture on nothing. It's about His picture in my life because He's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Amen. I owe it all to Him. I said I owe it all to Him. All my life. He deserves it all, Randy. He wants it all. And He can use it all if you'll just give it to Him. We was down there in town. You've heard me tell this a few Christmases ago and going through that little Bethlehem scene and down in the bottom corner was the, was the potter and making a vessel. And sometimes he said that vessel, when it gets up too high, it'll get to shaking on the wheel and it'll collapse. And he was telling all these people that. And I heard a little, a little child ask the potter, do you have to throw it away when it falls? He said, oh no. He said, I take it. And he said, I work it back again into a ball. And he said, I throw it right back in the center of that wheel and I start all over again. He'll dip his hands in the water or she and work so gentle. Ain't you glad he didn't throw you away? <laughs> Those times that you feel like God ain't a million miles and then all of a sudden you feel that good spirit. You know what that is? That's his hand in the water and I'm just making you into something I can use Lord use me use me he won't abuse you but he will use you John chapter number 14 very simple thought on my heart I won't be before you long good to see 
everybody in the house of the Lord tonight. Hope we can rejoice for a little while. I can tell by the looks of everybody it's getting hot on the outside and it wires you out. I realize that. And uh, the kids wore out everywhere. My boys played in the creek. The only reason Malachi is still awake because he ate a lot of chocolate pie. It's good too, wasn't it, Malachi? He's full of meanness. Turned the light off on me in the bathroom. And I would get him back, but I've done it a hundred times myself. John chapter number 14. When you find your place, stand to your feet. Amen. I love having a little fun. Amen. Verse number one. Very familiar. I love this scripture. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. If you write in your Bible, you should underline that word, you. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am there ye may be also. And whether I go ye you know and the way ye you know. Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest and how can we know the way. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, you should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him and have seen him. May God bless you for standing. I know that's, that's probably very, very much high quoted from the pulpit. But it is a great scripture and that's our hope. It's words in red. And I want to preach a few minutes if the Lord will help us on a place prepared for us. Amen. A place prepared and I, I thought about this and Jesus here uh, was still standing on the earth that we're standing on and uh, he was giving his disciples amen some some encouragement and some instruction and uh, telling them that he's going to go away and uh, he wasn't going to always be there with them and uh, because he said if I go not away he said the comforter cannot come but if I go I'll send you a comforter, amen, to lead you and guide you in all truths of righteousness. And he, he went away, the cloud come down and received him out of their sight. And no doubt, Brother David, that was a very sad day, amen. They saw him, they followed him by sight. We follow him by faith. They followed him by sight. They laid down their fishing nets. Amen. They gave up their professions and just followed this man. And uh, no doubt as they saw him gathering the crowds and, and uh, raising the dead and raising the lame. Amen. No doubt it was a happy time in their life. And I guess they thought, amen, I've made the right decision. I'm glad that I chose to follow this man. Amen. Can I say right here just a minute, I'm just going to preach something simple to us tonight. Amen. But this is our hope church. Amen. He's going to prepare a place for us. Amen. It's not just for the uh, disciples that he was talking to. Amen. He went to prepare a place brother Jim Stevens for whosoever will. He said let him come and take of the water of life freely. Amen. I'm a country boy and mansions don't do a lot for me. Amen. Bricks and mortar. Amen. Don't do a lot for me. Amen. It don't bring contentment in your heart. Amen. The size of house that you have on the hill. Amen. So I'm not going to heaven I'm looking for a brick house. Amen. Trimmed out in the perfect color with the right kind of guttering. Amen. With everything looking just right. Amen. I'm not looking for that. Uh, the mansion that I'm looking for. Amen. Is a brand new body. I said a brand new body. If we had mansions scattered out uh, down the hills of glory. Amen. I want you to know. Amen. Jesus will be down at the throne and we'll be worshiping Jesus Christ. What good is a place. Amen. With a bunch of mansions where there nobody's going to live in them. Amen. I watch some of y'all. Amen. Hurting from day in and day out. I watch Mary push that wheelchair. Amen. In the 
church house. Amen. But when Jesus talks about uh, going to prepare a place for me, amen, that makes me happy. And when we sing that song, everybody uh, will be happy over there. Amen. You look around your house, that don't happen much at all around a handful of people, much less everybody. Amen. But when you get inside the gate of that city, they won't be nothing over there uh, for you to frown about. They won't be nothing over there for you to be sad about. Because I'm telling you, he's prepared a place where we can be with him forever and ever and ever. This place, hallelujah, is about to be over with. And I'm glad he's got a place prepared for a prepared people. Amen. What a place to spend the night. If heaven was a place where you could just spend the night, I'd want to go. If I, if they said there's a place you can go spend one day where you'll never have to worry again. Just one day, no worries, no pain. I'd want to go. I'd save up my money because I'd want to know how it felt not to have to worry for one day. Mary Evelyn, could you imagine just for one day, amen, having a perfect voice and never worrying about nothing, amen, nothing hurting in your body, nothing fighting in your mind, amen. I look, y'all the most faithful people of a Beth Eden Baptist church, but I know if I could just look inside the corridors of your mind, your mind is at a constant warfare day in and day out. That song we sung tonight, once again I face Satan this morning, he fights you in your dreams, he'll fight you in your sleep, he's waiting on you to open your eyes, he puts people in your path to try to drag you down. If I I could go to a place where just one day I could have a clear mind and not have to remember any of that. I mean, I'd save every dollar I had just to go to that place. But Jesus said, I'm going to go away and I'm going to prepare you a place. And he said, if I go, you know what he's going to do? He said, I'm going to come again and receive you unto myself. And I want you to know something, church. He said, you that have no money, let them come. Millions of dollars can't buy a place in heaven amen but just saying hey Jesus will you save me he'll open the gates up to heaven and for he said I've got a place waiting on you and can I say it is going to be just one day but it ain't ever going to end hallelujah amen it ain't ever going to end it ain't ever going to get dark amen can you say I want to know how it feels to walk up and down the streets of glory and never hurt again never worry again Thank God, that's the place I want to go to. I heard what Mary Evelyn said about her grandson. Been in the military 20 years. Go out to sea six months at a time. But she said he'll never have to go out to sea again. Hallelujah. We fought in this thing. I heard your testimony this morning about having to fight in your mind. When you get over there, you'll not have to worry about that again. My wife fights in her mind. You fight in your mind. You fight in your mind. You fight in your mind. Go to the doctor. Doctor tells you you got cancer. Got to face treatments. Hoping God will heal you before they start. I'm ready to go, but I don't want to leave. Look around. I'm ready to go, Mary. Because once I make that crossing, it'll be worth every mile. But I don't want to leave. If I had to die tonight, I wouldn't want to leave my babies. I wouldn't want to leave Kayla, Kendra, Malachi, and Jeremiah. I wouldn't want to leave. I wouldn't want to leave. But I'm ready. My flesh wants to hold on down here. But i got a place prepared. Oh, maybe, just maybe, maybe, just maybe, we all go to most of the time up to my house on Sunday and we bow our heads to pray, John. We all hold hands. Maybe, just maybe, 
one of these days when Jesus might just look down at my dinner table and about the time we hold hands he may say alright Gabriel blow your trumpet and we might all just leave together hallelujah amen there's a place oh God that you can't imagine that's waiting over yonder amen you'll never walk down the streets of glory and ever see a hospital standing on the corner you'll never hear another baby cry there'll never be another lonely grandparent can I tell you tonight it's just over yonder I said it's just over yonder amen a place prepared for people that's not even worthy and yours ain't going to be no different than mine it's going to be one eternal great day without nothing on this side but it'll all be new on that side hang on children we're almost there we're almost there in it just around the curve by faith we're almost there amen I don't know how long you've been saved but we've been waiting on what I've been talking about for a long time almost home almost home almost home we're almost there whenever I'm, we go on vacation it don't matter if it's an hour or ten hours we're almost there. I'm about to pee, Dad. Are we almost there? Pull over, Dad. I'm hungry. We just ate. I just saw McDonald's sign. I'm hungry. I'm hurting. I'm thirsty. We're about out of gas. All the way. Come on. But we're going on a journey. And we can all look at each other and say, I hurt. My kids are lost. Are we almost there? They tell me I got cancer. Are we almost there? I got such a warfare in my mind. Are we almost there? Got people that I want to see. Are we almost there? I believe your mom will be waiting at the gate. Jesus will say, come over here, Miss Williams. Somebody's coming. Somebody's coming. Come on, Mari. Stand over here. Somebody's coming. Somebody's coming. Are we almost there? Yeah. We are. Just, just we're closer. And you know what I always tell my kids? Are we almost there? I'd say we're closer than we've ever been. We may like 10 hours. We may like one mile. Boy, but when we start getting close, I start getting excited. Yeah. Amen. Because the landscape of where we're going starts changing. Oh, yeah. Can I say just open your Bible? The landscape of what I've been telling you about. Amen. Because he said when you see all these things come to pass, you know what he said? We're almost there. We're almost there. Wickedness on every hand. Amen. The world says we don't want the church no more. Can I say you ain't going to have to deal with us much longer because we're almost there. Because there's a place prepared. I'm not going to go float around in heaven. Amen. Like a star. There's a place prepared for me. And whenever he comes, I'm a going up there. Can you say I'm ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I want to have a great reunion around the marriage supper of the Lamb. Them angels standing up there singing. I thought a while ago. I'd like to hear an angel choir. Just angels. Never seen, never heard of any sin, no wickedness. They just sing. Because that's what God told them to do. Sing. They don't know nothing about redemption. They don't know nothing. All they do is go around the throne and look over at the sun and see nail prints. They don't know nothing about what that cost. They were standing on the corridors of heaven waiting for the command when he was in the garden. All he would have had to done, Paige, is say, I'm done with this bunch. Come and get me. The Bible says likewise they all walked away from him. And he was standing alone. The Bible said, I believe it was in Isaiah, he tread their wine press alone. All by himself, he went through what he did. You know why he done that? Because he wanted to prepare you a place. Oh, but when we get to heaven, them angels, oh Lord, can I just use my imagination for a minute? 
when we all get home, everybody that's going to go makes it. One by one now, they go. One by one. And I believe there's a great welcome and banquet when one makes it through the gate. Thank God I made it. They may have fought cancer down here. They may have left here with no legs. But when they got over there, they headed down the streets of glory. Oh, Butch, man, we prayed for him in and out, in and out, and finally God got him. Amen. Took his leg off, pushed the oxygen tank everywhere that he went, couldn't walk, pushed himself along in that wheelchair. Oh, but down yonder in that hospital, they said it don't look like it's going to get no better. Oh, yeah, but it did. Did you hear me? I said, but it did. He left this world laying in the hospital room, but opened his eyes in a place where there'll never be one. Amen. He never walked the last few months of his life, but when he opened his eyes in that place prepared, he's going down the streets of glory. And if he can answer you back today and say, you're almost here, you're almost here, you're almost here. Hallelujah. If your daddy, brother David Crow, I remember the last conversation I had with him, I standing right here. He said, I'm tired, preacher. I'm tired, preacher. Amen. If we can talk to him today, he's not pushing that wheelchair. Oh, hallelujah. There's no adult diapers in heaven. Amen. Everybody's brand new. Because in that place we'll never have to leave again. We're almost there. Almost there. Almost there. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I can just imagine Mary Evelyn. Then my angels have sung ever since God told them to start. One by one, they've been coming ever since Jesus opened the door. One by one, they've been coming. Welcome home, thou good and faithful servant. Thank you for living for Jesus. Hey, I stopped down there at Mama's the other night. I probably done told this. I won't tell it again. Kendra called or text and said, Mama's not resting. She's all to pieces. Just setting up every few minutes. Where am I at? I don't know how to get out of here. What do I do? What do I do? Where do I go? Just every, just every minute or two. We stop by there to leave some stuff. And May only said, why don't you go in and have prayer with her? It was midnight. Daddy has done asleep. Daddy's deaf in one ear. And so he lays on his good ear. And man, a bomb go off and he don't hear it. So I walked in, walked past Dad to sleep, went over there by the bed. She was sitting up in the bed and I said, Mom, I said, you know who I am? Dale. I said, would you like to pray? Son, she'd come alive. She said, yes. I got down beside her bed, Kimmy Dawn, and she got me around the neck. And we prayed. She kissed me right there. And she whispered in my ear and said, thank you for living right. She looked at Kendra when I walked out the door and said, that's my boy. It makes me want to live right because I want us to be together in heaven because one of these days, God, is everybody's going to get there at one time. Jesus can look around at your mom and say, come on, get on this cloud with me. We're going to go get the rest of that outfit. <laughs> hey, Gabriel, blow that trumpet. Hey, man, he begins to blow the trumpet and he steps out on that cloud and that thing starts coming down. Hey, man, all them graves open up. You say, explain that. I just did. Hey, man, hallelujah. I'm not even going to try to. Them graves are going to open up. Them that was sown in dishonor will be raised in power. Hey, man, and all of us will go together with heaven and when we get inside the gates of that city, Jesus said, all right, angels, step back. Step back. Everybody step back a little while. And they can quit singing for the first time since God told them to start. Give me an A. And as they all step back, and as they hold their peace, because they do everything God tells them, I can imagine what it's going to look like 
a banquet table with everybody that is saved lining that dining hall of heaven before we before we eat this meal with Jesus we're going to sing a song and as everybody the pauper under the bridge and the millionaire on the hill everybody will look towards the man with nail prints in his hands and this is what they'll sing I am redeemed bought with a price my Jesus has changed my whole life if anybody asks you just who I am just tell them that I am redeemed you say we're going to sing that song he said we're going to sing the song of the redeemed and as you look out over heaven, that one writer said, I saw a number that no man could number. And they were all had white garments washed in the blood of the Lamb. Can you say, I know who I used to be and the devil haunts me with my past. But can you say, I'm glad there's a place prepared where I'm going. Hallelujah, that my past will never be brought up or I can even remember it again. Oh, ain't you glad of that place, hallelujah, where we're not going to only spend a day, but eternity with Jesus, with Jesus. What are we going to do? We're going to praise the Lord. We're going to praise the Lord. So hang on. We're almost home. We're almost home. He could come before we may ever make it back in this building. And if he does, I want to see you in heaven. I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you. My darling wife, we live together down here, but I'm going to live forever with you. We'll never have another argument because I'll always be right in heaven. <laughs> well, bless his name. Well, bless his Say amen, Tom. Oh, what a place. It's okay to have fun, but it's going to be perfect. Perfect. There's some things that ain't welcome over there, and that's one of them. There's a place prepared. There's a pl I believe it's almost ready, John. If he prepared the world as we see it and enjoy it in six days, you reckon what heaven will look like, Taylor, as long as he's been working on it? He's been working on it a long time. And I can't wait for him to say. Come on in, children. What do you think about it? And we'll raise our hands as we praise the king. And said, I'm so glad I chose to follow the Lamb. Oh, let's pray together, church. Lord, I love you and I praise you. I just want to tell you that I, just a simple, simple message tonight of the place that you've gone to prepare. What a surprise it'll be when we get there because there's no way that I could ever preach it or explain it as beautiful as it's going to be. I can't imagine some of those saints, the way I've seen them go down, having a brand new glorified body. But Jesus, I'm so ready to see them. Oh God, there's loved ones over there that I'm longing to see. God, help us to do everything in our power to take our children and our grandchildren and our family with us. Oh, I love you. Thank you for going away. But we've followed you by faith a long time now. And I know you're not going to let us down. You're going to come back and get us. The Lord, help us to have our hearts ready. Help us to be prepared for that prepared place. I love you. Thank you so much for your goodness. Thank you for being so good to my family. Until I see you in heaven, walk with us. Until I get to see you with my eyes, talk with us. And help us to trust you. In Jesus' name.
Hallelujah. Shake hands, be friendly. Good night and God bless you.